Hi, it's Jennifer from Soul Source Tarot, and I'm here to do a reading for Aries for the week ahead. This is for Aries, Sun, Moon, Rising, and Venus. We're just going to see what comes up. Ooh, the sun. This is, this is enlightenment. This is happiness. This is uh, something very positive. Okay, so this is for the next seven days ahead. So the sun card is, you know, I'm not sure if there's much better of a card. Um, this is bliss. So, <laughs> starting out real well. Things are looking good. I mean, things, that's what it looks like. Things are looking good. Very bright. Ooh, justice. Justice. This is, a, this is a final decision. This is getting what you deserve. The truth being delivered of some sort. Things starting to balance out for you. Mmm. <coughs> this is uh, getting unstuck. You may be getting, you, things may start be definitely starting to look up for you coming out of a period of stagnation for sure coming out of a period of being stuck you know mm -hmm. Ooh, looking really good too feeling really good knowing your value knowing your worth wow everybody's seeing it too everybody is seeing it this is a rebirth this is absolutely getting unstuck no doubt about it if you guys have been in a period of confusion or stagnation or unable to make a decision or just, you know, things were chaotic and unaligned, I think things are starting to get better. Things are going to start. If they haven't, they're going to be. This is definitely gone through a period of enlightenment. And you've got to think about the Empress. The, the, the Truth suffering brings true growth. What does it kill you? Makes you stronger. Not only does it make you stronger, it makes you wiser. We have a very wise individual here. Here, 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 here. Now this is a celebration of some sort. Having fun. It's time. Some, it is time. Something that it is time. It's time for something. I don't know what it's time for, but whatever it is, it's time. Uh, this is an offer of love or a relationship that is becoming relationship growth. A relationship that is about to either come into fruition for from the beginning or it's about to blossom. Some sort of relationship is about to blossom or this is a new offer of love. If you are out and you are out, you know, you, you can, this could go so many ways. If you are out and about and you're at some sort of celebration, you know, you're partying or whatever and drinking, you can meet somebody, somebody that you've been waiting for. Um, could be a Libra, could be a Pisces, could be a Taurus, could be a Virgo, uh, I don't know why I was going to say Virgo, so we'll go ahead and say it. Taurus, could be a Libra, could be a Leo, Pisces, Cancer, Scorpio. Ooh, well, but you got to let go of control issues. You know, that's not easy, is it? So somebody's trying to be too controlling here. Not, you know, you got to be more playful. Maybe you got to, maybe you need to not work so hard. Maybe you need to go out and have some fun. Maybe you need to put yourself out there. If you are lonely and you're all alone and you're wondering why you're not meeting anybody, maybe it's because you're not letting yourself. You need to open up. Don't be so protective. You know, maybe you got to lighten up a little bit. It feels to me like um, you guys have been keeping to yourselves. You're probably going through some sort of spiritual enlightenment. Like I said, maybe even a spiritual download or something. I feel like you guys are receiving intuitive messages probably. Mm. You know, they're just coming right to you. I think that you guys are in your element at this time. Even though it's not airy season, I think that right now you guys are receiving messages. Make sure you're not ignoring them. Um, t 
take take more time. Take more time. You may be thinking about you may be thinking about doing something, or you may be or maybe that's what you're doing. You're thinking about opening up, but you're still closed off. You need to open yourself up. You do. You do. You need to open yourself up. If you are in a coupled relationship, okay, we got the emperor and the empress here. The emperor is reversed. If you are the male watching this, this is the male, this is the female. The female is, or the feminine, okay, the feminine is uh, glowing. She's in her power. She's looking beautiful. She is glowing. Her Her vibration is very high. She's very abundant. She's you know, doing quite well. We have this male that's in your story that is not doing so well. This male is probably depressed. He may be angry. He may be acting like a tyrant, you know. He may be a little too aggressive. Whoever this male is, this masculine, this ma masculine is being too controlling. This masculine is, is trying to... Um, I don't know. Keep to. I'm gonna get some more cards. I'm not sure why this is reversed, but it's not very good. I mean, <sighs> options, confusion. We got somebody here that may not be choosing wisely. This guy's not. She's the fe the feminine is being very wise. You know, she's acting from her heart. But this masculine may have other options. Somebody knows what's going on. And they're keeping it to themselves. Somebody may be keeping a secret about a relationship. Could be a third party. I hate to go down this road. But that could absolutely be the case here. And this is, this is a, there could be even be a divorce. There could be a divorce on the table here. There could be some legal issues there that, that are about to arise. Because somebody may have made a poor decision, who knows what, and got themselves involved in a third party situation and now there's a divorce. So somebody could be getting a divorce because somebody cheated, put it that way. They could be filing for divorce or it could be, you know, becoming finalized this week, whatever. I don't know who that's for. But somebody is becoming free, okay, for sure. We definitely have some freedom here. And this is a rebirth. So we have a rebirth of a new life. And this could even be a new relationship. If you are single, you could meet somebody. You can meet somebody online on a dating site, out socializing with your friends, a friend of a friend of a friend. You could meet somebody at the courthouse. You could meet somebody, you know... That works for the legal system, whoever this person is. Um, this is, it's time. Something that this, it's time. Definitely time for a delivery. It's time for something is about to arrive. Something that you have been waiting for. I don't know what it is, but it's going to make you really happy. And it does have to do with something that is going to be emotionally fulfilling. It's probably been taking a while. Um, this is thinking about it, though. And this is keeping quiet waiting for the right time waiting somebody has been waiting for the right time so be we beware <laughs> i mean don't you don't have to beware but if something has been hitting hidden i think it's going to come out maybe you've had some secret admirer or something and now it's time this is the mother this is the father i don't know how that resonates i just felt the need that i needed to tell you that um, this one's been trying not to let go of control, been trying not to give away any power, trying to keep under keep it under control, keeping something to himself. Somebody's been, I think the masculine, and a lot of the you Aries masculines may not like this, but something is being kept in. Yeah, absolutely. <coughs> something is hidden. We have some sort of deception here, and it's not, I mean, I hate to say the word deception. Somebody's not revealing everything, put it that way. There's many options here. Mm. But this is things are, are looking up for you. You're going to, if you are single, you were, you're going to be meeting somebody soon. There's no doubt about it. And this is somebody who is going to put in equal effort. 
Okay, all right. So this is somebody that's going to put in equal effort if you are single. Um, mm, grieving. <coughs> Excuse me. We got somebody here that's focusing on a loss. They've been focusing on a loss or they've been focusing on a grievance. They've been focusing on something, not realizing that there's still love, not realizing that there's still a partnership or a union or something that is waiting for them. Not realizing that there's another opportunity. Somebody has been focusing on something and kind of like um, agonizing you know, it looks pretty agonizing, right? Agonizing over a loss when it's it's time to uh, look up, okay? It's time to look up. And as things are starting to look up, all you have to do is continue to look up. Stop, stop looking down. Stop looking at what happened. Stop looking at the past. Look in a different direction. Okay, because somebody has given their power away. It's like there's a, there, truly somebody has given their power away. This is a trickster. This is a thief. This is a liar. This is somebody who uses manipulation as a tactic. So we got somebody here that is manipulating, whether it's you or the other person. They're like trying to manipulate a situation. And it's like, <clears throat> it's time to break free. It's time to break free from the grip of whoever this or whatever this situation is. There's a situation here where somebody's been carrying a heavy weight. They've been carrying a heavy load. They've been overworked. And like I said, somebody has been working too hard. They've been focusing on things that they should definitely not be focusing on when there's an opportunity for, I mean, she gives birth to a new life. There's an opportunity for a new life here, but you have to, you know, think positive. This is think positive. Think positive. Your thoughts truly do become things, and that is the truth, and I'm not just saying that, okay? So somebody needs to think positive here. Um, they are, some, things are about to look up. Things, somebody is getting unstuck from a, a situation that has weighed them down for way too long. Something is going to become balanced, like the balance is going to come back, and I think it's because somebody has to let go of control. Somebody has been resisting change, right? Trying to keep things the way they were, you know, but that's not, then there's a better option. There is a better option. These are just cue cards for me, by the way. Don't matter where they are. I look at a card, the words start flowing out. So that's what we got here. Somebody is just, you know, letting go of something that has, was weighing them down. Okay. At one time it may have been wish fulfillment, but it's not. And now they do have this. This is, I think there's something that is coming in that is going to surprise you. Put it that way. There's a surprise here. And I, I, you know, you may, you may feel it coming, coming. The thing is, is you may see it coming before it comes. <laughs> I don't know where this is coming from. I don't think I've, I've said this one before. But I just, I just heard to myself is you'll, you'll know right before it happens that it's about to happen. <laughs> <clears throat> Whatever that means, I do not know. I'm sorry. My voice is a little scratchy. But this is let go of regrets. Let go of regrets. It's time. It's time for your new life. It's time for your birth. It's time for your renewal. It's time for you to blossom. Um, somebody may be coming back, by the way, somebody may be coming back or coming in your direction, somebody that hurt you or you hurt them, could be dealing with a Libra, Gemini, Aquarius, um, but it looks to me like somebody has made a very logical decision and somebody is trying to do the right thing to act with integrity. I think there's been some sort of definite, uh, decision here that is, has probably been made or it's about to be made. And I think that you will know it before it happens. It would be like a, almost like a, I, I don't know if it's deja vu. I kind of like deja vu, but not really. It's like an intuitive, uh, like what I do, okay? It's you, you just get the message, okay? You'll get the message that it's time. Whatever that means. Whatever that means. Somebody is making a decision to do the right thing for themselves. 
no matter what. And they're putting a halt. They're putting a halt to something. Okay. Ooh. Time is of the essence. Act now. Think later. Getting unstuck. Taking action right now. To make a decision. And stick to it. I'm not going to move forward anymore. I'm not going to go any further with this. Whatever that means, I do not know. Somebody is taking action to put something to a complete to stop. I mean, it's basically... It's almost like a battle. It's almost like a... Ooh. They put some... They stop communication. Uh... This is stop communication for sure. Somebody is taking action, swift action. There's been some sort of dishonesty here. There's been some sort of lie or some sort of power. Because this is the sword of power. And this is a, this guy's got the power. It's like the power take my power back. This guy's taking his power back. Somebody's going to take their power back. I'm taking my power back. Because now he's got it in his hands. Somebody had basically been dealing with an energy thief or somebody, a psychic vampire or somebody that overpowered them. And now she's taking her power back. She knows her value, her worth. Oh, I don't know. This masculine here is making a conscious change to listen to his intuition. Yeah, there's that power that was taken away. Yeah, it was. Somebody is making a conscious change to listen to their intuition. And I got to do what's right for me, even if you get hurt in the process. Because I know my value and I know my worth and it's time, it's time for me to get unstuck from this place of limbo, this place of suspension, this place of confusion. So I feel like we have somebody here that is making a final decision to break free from something that has been weighing them down. I'm taking back my power. So if you, but that's for, I don't know who that's for. If you are single, if you are single, there could be somebody coming into your life that you meet out. Probably there could be drinks involved, whether you meet him and you go out for drinks or whatever. There's probably some drinks involved. If you don't drink, well, then whatever. I don't know if this reading isn't for you. Anyway, there's probably some drinks involved. And I think that you will feel, you will know, you will, you will have a feeling. You will know that this person and you have a bond, it's probably what you have been waiting for. Um, this person is probably going to come into your life pretty, pretty, pretty quickly. And they're just going to come flying right in. You don't even like see it coming. It's just, it's probably, there will probably be an instant attraction. It probably will. Whoever this person is, if, especially if you are the female watching this, this person is definitely going to see your beauty because you're glowing. You're like absolutely beautiful. Um, if you are the male watching this, then you have this person, you know, that you, you may be, this is, this could be you, Aries, Leo, Sagittarius, but this could be you, Aries, that is swooping in on her after there's been no communication, after there's been a block, I guess, making the decision, you know, I'm going to make this decision to go get this person. She has so many options. She does. So we got somebody here who has multiple options. It looks like we got another person that's like, I gotta, I'm headed in. Somebody's definitely headed in. If you are in a relationship already, you know, it, uh, there could be, there's, it could be rocky. I mean, this could go a hundred. I could go all day. I'm not going to keep going. But I do feel like a, 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 a final decision is being made. Whatever that means. There's a final decision being made that it's time for a new life. It's time to start over. It's time for me to receive my reward. 
And I do believe whatever you are going to receive some sort of, I mean, she delivers a miracle. So that's what I got. Good luck.